this is a quick unboxing review of the new X73 quadcopter from Ishin. So let's open the box and see what we're getting inside. The quadcopter came well protected inside this foam, but there is not much we're getting. We're getting the quadcopter itself and we're getting also these cables that allow you to connect it to USB. So this is the cable and this is the adapter that helps you to configure it on clean flight. The quadcopter came without any extra propellers or battery. So what you see is what you get, only these two products. So you're gonna have to buy a 1S battery. This one is 500 milliampere hour. And I recommend to buy also a couple of spur props. The weight of the X73 without any battery is 27.22 grams, so it's pretty light. It's a bit bigger than the new blade Inductrix, which is around 22 grams. You can see it's also bigger. It's a bit hard to compare, but the X73 is a bit bigger than the blade Inductrix. So next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to connect it to clean flight, bind it, and see how it goes. Okay, so what I did, I created a new model on my Tavanis, which is named X73. And then you will have to switch the receiver, the internal RF to D8, channels one to eight, and then you're gonna hit bind. Now you hear this binding sound, and you will have to connect the battery to the X73 while holding this button. This receiver is on top and it's compatible with FR Sky receivers. So you have to press it here and connect it while holding, which is a bit tricky, but you will manage to do it, I hope. Okay, and now when I release it, it's bound. That's it. And you can just hit the exit and it's supposed to be okay. So as you can see, I've connected the Quad Deck 73 to the computer using the cable. It's very easy to do that. But the roll and all, for example, when I press it, this is roll and this is throttle. So I'm going to configure it and then I will be able to uh, go for it. After I configure it, configure it, the throttle is throttle and everything works as I expected. And also I have put also horizon mode on this switch. So let's go. And X73 is equipped with a, an onboard camera with a 25 milliwatt transmitter. And here is the uh, band. Also here, you can see the instructions how to bind it. So I'm gonna put it on my Fetch Shark 7 and show you the DVR and the flight, indoors flight and also outdoors flight. Setting the correct band, I'm going to give it a test flight indoors and then take it outside as well. Now I'm on horizon mode. Notice when I switch to aqua mode, the front LED will be turned off. So you have also indicator on your test flight, on, on your flight mode. So now it's on and now it's off. So right now it's on horizon mode. I'm flying line of sight, so it's a bit hard to fly uh, on acro mode. So let's take it outside and also and see how it goes.